A new federal consumer watchdog agency has unveiled plans to police the nation's three major credit bureaus, as well as dozens of other firms that collect detailed information on consumers. Now, this is a move that would bring these entities under U.S. supervision for the first time. Now, these agencies produce files that increasingly determine who gets hired and who gets access to credit in the banking system. Credit repair expert Paul Oster joins us today to talk about what's at stake, and this could be huge. I mean, we're talking about policing the agencies that, that determine files on some 200 million Americans. Yeah, fortunately or unfortunately, it took this long to get to this point. And anyone who's ever applied for credit or, or tried to deal with the credit bureaus themselves would know that it's not an easy task. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, uh, how do they determine this, this credit score that affects so many of us? Well, the credit bureaus are actually just uh, big data corporations, repositories for, for the data. They give that data to the Fair Isaac Corporation. That's the company that actually generates rates are FICO scores. Oh, okay. So there's three big bureaus and then you have a fourth corporation uh, that generates the scores. And, and are they under any oversight in terms of how they arrive at the score? Uh, unfortunately, uh, up until this point, the whole industry has been loosely regulated by the FTC. And when you say loosely regulated, <laughs> <laughs> not many eyes are on it. Yeah, and it, you know the the margin for errors uh, I think are far greater than uh, the study uh, just released by the FTC last week. Um, they were talking about 25 percent uh, the, the average consumers having you know false, erroneous, and, wow. and mistakes in their credit reports. Even if that was just true, that would be devastating, which 25%. it is. But I think it's much higher. Uh, I've been in the business for seven years. I've been studying credit reports and working with consumers. Um, and unfortunately, we see it. Almost every client that we work with has information on the report that does not belong there. And that's the frustrating thing. It takes so long and it's so difficult to get a negative report off of your Report. Yeah, uh, two things. Uh, Stephen Croft, uh, uh, 60 Minutes did an expose, uh, very well done, uh, about disputing information on your credit reports. And, and I think he said it best. Uh, it doesn't appear that the average person who has a job and a life and kids and family has the time or resources to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. um, the chairman of the FTC actually said that a consumer might be better off hiring a third-party professional company to help them deal with the mess. Wow. And that's created a, a cottage industry around this. It is. Again, I started uh, Better Qualified seven years ago. Uh, I came out of the banking and insurance industry, uh, and I was spending a great deal of my day working on these types of things. And one of my clients actually said to me, Paul, you'd probably make a pretty good living just working on uh, helping people with their credit. Wow. You know, my father was a real estate broker. And back in the 70s, uh, that was one of the things that, that was an intricate part of the process finding out which of these credit agencies had the best score and, and listing that. Isn't and, that amazing? And, and to qualify people. Yeah, uh, three different bureaus. They don't work together. Um, they are for-profit companies. Mm -hmm. um, they don't share information. They don't talk to one another. They're actually competitors with one another. Right. And sometimes the scores can be a 100-point difference. Wow, that's amazing. So how, how does the average consumer get it right, I mean, in terms of getting their score reflected fairly? Well, the first thing that, uh, you know, your viewers need to know is they need to know what is on the reports and what their scores are. And that's not an easy task either. Um, annualcreditreport.com is the place to go to for your free credit reports. It's the government's website. Uh, and it really is free. Uh, you don't need a, a credit card. You don't need a dollar. You don't need a free trial. You don't need anything to get copies of your reports, although it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, sometimes it's confusing. If you want your scores, you have to pay for the scores, and that becomes even more confusing because annualcreditreport.com has actually become like a money-making arm for the credit bureaus wow. themselves. So most people probably don't realize, you know, uh, True Credit is owned by TransUnion. FreeCreditReport.com, the one with the silly commercials on mm -hmm. all the time, is actually owned by Equifax. So they are looking to make money off the consumer's need to know what their scores are. So best to seek out a credit repair, a reputable credit repair agency to do the work. Sometimes it might be best. Uh, you know, of course, my opinion's biased. I own a credit repair sure. organization, um, but. Uh, but given the difficulties of, of 
finding out what you need to find out. Sometimes it might be best for people to seek uh, a professional, just like doing your taxes or, or hiring an attorney to represent you in a court of law. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, it's necessary to hire a third-party company. All right, Paul, always a pleasure. Uh, we'll have you come back on and talk more about I'd this. I'd appreciate it. Big, big deal for well, the Well, it's going to continue to unfold uh, for sure. This was just the first study. They only studied a, about 1,000 credit reports, mm -hmm. and when you consider 200 million people have credit files in this country, we have a long way to go. Yeah. All right. Thanks much for the insight. Thank you for having me on. Thank mm -hmm. you.